Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I'm going to remake my first video which was the skirt block. So this is going to be part of a new series for 2021 called the skirt edit. So in this series I'm going to have sewing and pattern tutorials for a range of different skirts. So to kick off the series I'm going to show you how to make the skirt block. So to start you're going to need to draw a straight line down and across your page and then at the line intersection you're going to mark this point as one. So from one you're going to measure across half of the hip measurement plus 1.5 centimeters and mark this point as two. So at two you're going to draw a straight line down your page and then this will become your center front line and then the line directly across from this is your center back. So from one you're going to measure down the length of the skirt. I went with 55 centimeters but you can choose your own length and then just go ahead and mark this point as three. So from three you can draw a straight line across your page to meet the line drawn down from two and then mark this line intersection as four. So from one you're going to measure down the waist to hip measurement and mark this point as five. So from five you're going to draw a straight line across to meet that line drawn down from two and then mark this line intersection as six. So back at five, measure across one quarter of the hip measurement plus 1.5 centimeters and mark this point as seven. So from seven, draw a straight line down to meet the hem and then mark this line intersection as eight. So from one you're going to measure across one quarter of the waist measurement and then add 4.25 centimeters and mark this point as nine. Then from nine you're going to measure up 1.25 centimeters and mark this as 10. So using a ruler go ahead and join points one and 10 and then join 10 and seven. So now you need to divide the line from 1 to 10 into 3 sections. So once divided you're going to mark those points as 11 and 12. So from 11 and 12 you're going to square down using your ruler. So going back to 11, you're going to measure down that new line by 14 centimeters and mark this point as 13. And then go to 12 and measure down 12.5 centimeters and mark this point as 14. So now we're going to draw in two darts. So they're going to be two centimeters wide each. So to do this, you're going to mark one centimeter each side of 11 and then repeat this for 12. Okay, so now going in with your ruler, you're going to join the points each side of 11 with 13. And then you're going to join the points that are each side of 12 down to 14. And now you'll have your darts. So using a curved ruler you're going to shape the line joining 10 and 7 just out by 0.5 centimeters. And that is the back part of the pattern finished. So now you can mark in all your pattern information and then we can move on to the front. 
So at two, you're going to measure across a quarter of the waist measurement and then add 2.25 centimeters and mark this point as 15. So from 15, you're going to measure up 1.25 centimeters and mark this point as 16. So now using your ruler, you're going to join points two and 16 and then 16 and seven. So from 16, you're going to measure in one third of the distance to two and mark this point as 17. So at 17, you're going to measure down 10 centimeters using your ruler and mark this point as 18. So now we need to draw in the dart. So at 17, you're going to mark a point one centimeter each side of 17. And then using your ruler, you're going to join these points down to 18 to create your dart. So using a curved ruler, you now need to shape the line from seven to 16 by 0 0.5 centimeters. And that is the front of the scare pattern finished. So now you can go ahead and night before you can mark in all your information. And that is the scare block complete. So in the next video, what I'm going to do is show you how to add all the seam allowance and then how to cut out the pieces of fabric and then construct the skirt. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button as it really helps to support my channel. And don't forget to subscribe for more pattern and sewing tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you all in the new year. Bye guys.